As we have seen how to build a chi-square distribution from scratch. So now let's understand uh, the relationship between the chi-square and standard normal distribution. So chi-square distributions are a family of continuous probability distributions. They are widely used in hypothesis test including the chi-square goodness of fit test and chi-square test of ind independence. And for us as a data scientist, what is most important is chi-square test of independence. The shape of a chi-square distribution is determined by the parameter k, which represents the degrees of freedom. Very few real world observations follow a chi-square distribution the main purpose of a chi-square distribution is hypothesis testing, not describing the real world distributions. In contrast, most other widely used distributions like normal distribution or Poisson distributions can describe useful things such as newborns, birth weights or disease cases per year respectively. So that's the reason your fundamental distribution is normal distribution which can capture the most of the natural phenomena whereas your chi-square distribution which is derived from that uh, so that's the reason let's look into the relationship between uh, chi-square distribution and the standard normal distribution so the chi-square distributions are useful for hypothesis testing because of their close relationship to the standard normal distribution. The standard normal distribution, which is a normal distribution with a mean of 0 and a variance of 1, is uh, central to many important statistical tests and uh, theories. Imagine taking a random sample of a standard normal distribution z if you squared all of the values in the sample you would have the chi-square distribution with k is equals to 1 okay and uh, now imagine uh, taking samples from uh, two standard normal distributions uh, z1 and z2 if each time you sampled a pair of values you squared them and added them together, you would have chi-square distribution with k is equals to 2. And more generally, if you, if you sa sample from k independent standard normal distributions and then square and sum the values, you will produce a chi-square distribution with uh, k degrees of freedom. So, the chi-square uh, test statistic as we have seen earlier. So now let's see the exact relationship between the shape of the chi-square distributions and a normal distribution. So what we can see here is when k is 1 or 2, uh, the chi-square distribution is a curve shaped like a backwards j. The curve starts out high and uh, drops off meaning that there is a high probability that chi-square is close to zero. That's what, the, that's what the figure suggests. When k is greater than 2, when k is greater than 2, the chi-square distribution is hump-shaped. This is called hump-shaped. So the curve starts out low, and uh, increases and then decreases again. So there is a low probability that chi-square is very close to or very far from zero. The most probable value of chi-square is chi-square minus 2. So when k is only a bit greater than 2, 
the distribution is much longer on the right side of its peak than its left. So it is uh, strongly right for uh, right skewed. What we see on the screen is uh, strongly right skewed. So as k increases, the distribution looks more and more similar to a normal distribution. In fact, when k is 90 or greater, a normal distribution is a good approximation of the chi-square distribution. So, what we will do, let's uh, do the simulation of uh, this to understand uh, much but better, okay? So, let's take up the simulation here quickly, yeah? Um, so, this is from stats distribution website, you can just type on this link. Here you can simulate the different uh, distributions, okay? So, I have selected the chi-square distribution. Yeah, this is enough for us. I have selected the chi-square distribution. So, let's take this is chi-square value is this much when your p-value is this. That's a critical one. Okay, let me begin with the uh, degrees of uh, freedom 1 and let me go for the right tail. At this moment, it's not that important let me click on right tail so when my degrees of freedom so degrees of freedom is nothing but k as we have discussed earlier it's just a k so when my degrees of freedom or k is 1 so this is the shape of the curve that i that i have so now let me increase to 2 it's slightly you now the shape has been changed so this time i'm going to increase it to yeah 3 uh, slightly you got the hump shape where uh, the curve has become the distribution has become right skewed so five uh, hump and it reduced hump is reduced and right skew slowly reducing and when I gone for eight and this is what my what, what the condition let me go for 12 and back okay you got the hump shape with uh, reduced uh, uh, a right skew. And let me go for the 15. Okay, it's reducing. Let me increase to 40 and see what's going to happen. Yeah, uh, by and large, uh, you got a normal distribution, but not exactly. Let me increase it to 58. You got it. Let me increase it to increase it to 90. And here it is. You got a normal distribution. So let me go to this value and you will find a normal distribution. So from chi-square distribution to normal distribution. So fundamentally, so as the degrees of freedom increases, it will lead to a normal distribution. And that's what you can see on the screen. So here the chi-square value is 136.6. The p-value is 0 0.05. Okay, the probability. 0 0.05 because we have gone for the right tail okay so i hope uh, you got the simulation so how uh, uh, chi square distribution has been connected with the uh, uh, normal distribution so let's look into the properties of uh, chi square uh, distribution so chi square distributions uh, start at 0 and continue to infinity the chi-square distribution starts at zero because it describes the sum of the squared random variables and a squared number can't be negative. So the mean of the chi-square, the mean of the chi-square distribution is its uh, degrees of freedom because the chi-square distribution is right skewed. The mean is greater than the median or and mode. So the variance of the chi-square distribution is 2k. 2k is basically your k is your degrees of freedom. So that, that's what uh, uh, you got. These are the properties of uh, our uh, uh, chi-square distribution. You can see that uh, you got the it's a property continuous or discrete. Uh, and the mean is k, mod is k minus 2, and the variance is 2k, standard deviation is square root of 2k, range is in between 0 to infinity. And symmetry, it's asymmetrical, it is asymmetrical, 
right skewed but increasingly symmetrical as as k increases and uh, this is the relationship between chi square distribution and the standard normal distribution 